Yes, the G has been in the garage for, I'd say about two weeks now. I've been driving the 240 and it has been treating me great. Having two cars is a gift and a curse. You just gotta be willing to deal with all the baggage these cars bring. I have yet to make a video about both of them, so I thought I'd make this video about the similarities and differences about two of my cars. All right. Let's go ahead and start off with the most obvious similarity, and that is the wheels I have on the car. They are Advan AVS Model 5s. Decently specced too on both cars, so. I was lucky enough to find eight of the same wheels in the Bay Area. Usually you would have to find it on a forum or on another buying site and have it shipped to you for a crazy price, yeah. But all I had to do is take a little drive around the Bay Area. Getting those wheels definitely sparked my love for the G a lot. <laughs> I noticed that my interest for cars was being slightly drained, especially when the G was on like stock wheels for the longest time. One thing I'm really hoping too is that I never get sick of these wheels. That took so much if I would have to sell it again. Eh. Another funny similarity is that both of the cars are not boosted, sadly. I don't even think I'm going to be boosting the... I don't even think I'm going to be boosting the G. The KA in this 240 right now, the stock motor, is going to be turboed in the future. For now, this stock 240 is my perfect daily. I don't have to worry about anything. I did ride in a turbo KA before in an S14. It's another 240. Richard, if you're watching this, it's your car. And thanks for the ride along. <laughs> Being able to see the potential other people's cars have in real life. Like, yeah, you can see it through videos and all that. But once you get in the passenger seat or driver's seat of someone else's car that is faster than yours. Um, yeah, it kind of makes me want to do it. But... As of now, I'm still thinking about what I want to do with this 240. It's very vague. <sighs> oh my god. This looks so good. <laughs> Got my food from Bar Grocery and it looks amazing. Oh my. But all I do is work cuz I got nothing to lose. 7 a.m. mimosas and we be hitting that snooze. What? Literally look at that kimchi fried rice with beef, mozzarella cheese and an egg. Oh my god. This looks so good. Yeah, so the go-to spot when it comes to Korean if you are local near me. Bro, super grateful that I have both of the cars. If I were to choose and I had an unlimited amount of money, it would be these two cars that I have right now. A G35 and an S13 hatch. So, I'm going to ride it out as long as possible. Uh, although, recently I have been thinking of just selling one car because, like... With two cars, the, it's double the amount of stress, obviously, because you have to deal with more stuff. And I don't know. I really want to know your guys' feedback, too, on which car you would want me to sell. It's not like this is going to happen, but I was considering it, which is kind of still scary. Look at this fried rice. <clears throat> That's enough of me eating. My life marvelous like stand. I just made a diamond dance with she stab in my back. Ooh, hey. But revenge ain't in my plans. Fans from Toronto went from France. You're trying to catch up, but you can't. My life marvelous like stand. Hey, I just made a diamond dance with she stab in my back. What yo? But revenge ain't in my plans. Bitches from Toronto went from France. You're trying to catch up, but you can't. My life marvelous like stand. I just made a diamond dance. 
hands ain't in my plan. Okay, what differentiates the G from the 240? I think the obvious one is stance over the daily look. I daily this thing for a while on the height it's at. It's not the lowest it could be. I want it to be lower eventually. Definitely not practical and you're gonna fuck up some things like if you're gonna drive it every day. That's why I have the 240. Having the camera I do have and being semi low to the ground, it is just more stresses you have to deal with if you're gonna drive your car every day. That's partially the reason why the car is in the air right now. It's because tires are done and, and now I need an alignment. How the G is styled is completely different from the 240. It is as plain as possible, besides the camber, obviously, but ever since getting the car, the colorway has been pretty monochrome. Like, no crazy ass colors. Like the 240, it is completely red and bronze wheels. It's most likely gonna stay with something along the lines of this colorway unless I get my car painted. I really wanna get my car painted. Lastly, this car is close to being done. Like, besides the color and the refinishing of the wheels. And my hopes for this build is one day to drive it at final bout or something, some crazy drift event. It seems so far-fetched, but one day. <laughs> I always say that. The 240, the one that I daily. It was literally half the price of the G and it's serving me pretty well so far. To be honest though, a daily that is completely stocked would be way better than this thing. I don't I don't know if you could consider this a daily. <laughs> one thing I think you guys did not know is that red is my favorite color and it almost stopped me from getting this very car right here. Yeah, I think I'd rather have any other color than red. The thing is, like the G, I could paint it, so I want to do that. <laughs> My excuse was, it's red, so if it gets all messed up, I wouldn't care. When you daily a car, you're definitely not going to take care of it as well as a garaged one. Yeah, I, I really would have never thought I'd have a red 240. As far as this thing sits, it is way far from where I want it to be. There's like two stages where I want to take this car to one set up on 17 inch wheels and then 18. With the 18 set, I'm going to have a fat kit and it's going to be to the floor. Like most of you car guys know, it will be a process and take years, if not decades. Nah, I'm kidding, not decades. <laughs> Yeah, the fact that this car is far from finished makes me side towards selling the G. I don't know if I could do that though. Well, I hope you guys found out something new about me or my two cars. And honestly, shout out to Infinity and Nissan for making such great cars for us to enjoy. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.